Hello, crafty friends. It is Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I am back again today with another DIY tutorial that I think you are going to love. So this DIY is probably going to be one of my most recent favorites that I have done, and it is actually inspired by another friend of mine, Melanie, who is also a craft blogger over at Simple Made Pretty. So today's DIY is a farmhouse inspired DIY project that you can use in your home. And the reason that I love it so much is because once you have it made, you can actually decorate this thing with every single holiday or every single season. So what is it that I'm talking about? Well, today's DIY is a two-tiered tray, and it is a tray that you can make for $3. So if you follow along on Instagram, you might notice that there is a hashtag out there called the tiered trays of Instagram, and I love following this hashtag. The number one reason why is because if you look at that hashtag through the entire year, you can find inspiration and ideas to decorate a two-tiered tray in your home season after season and holiday after holiday. To me, it is one of the easiest ideas to bring seasonal living into your home. You may not have a lot of decorations or you may not have the space to keep decorations for every single holiday or every single um, season, but if you have a tier two tray, the decorations are small and it's easy to keep and change up and still enjoy living seasonally in your home. So that is why I'm so excited to share with you today's tier two tray. Now when I first purchased my first two-tiered tray, it was around $65, $75 with shipping. It was crazy expensive, but today's DIY is only going to cost you under $3, and you can't beat that to getting started to decorating seasonally. Now if we get this video up to 25 likes, that's it, just 25 thumbs ups, then I will make another video on my tips on how to actually get started decorating and living seasonally. If you want that video, you just need to let me know by giving a thumbs up and I will create it for you. And that's just the only way that I know how to know if that's something you might want to see. So we are going to get started. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you the materials that I used to create this DIY. It is all items mainly from the Dollar Tree. And again, it is a farmhouse theme. You can paint it or spray paint it however you want to or doing another color. But again, I chose to do the farmhouse theme. So let's get started. Okay, so once you have all of your spray painted pieces, lay everything out on your work table. And I took that toy section, I used one of them. You can see where I just took one of the bottom pieces, removed the lighter brown section, and just cut the other one into two thirds and one third. Then I flipped over the bottom plates and using those tower blocks, I decided to glue them down and stack them so that they would be the feet or the base of the tiered tray. Now at this point I decided that I needed to double up my wood blocks. I did not go back and spray paint them. That's why you see the some of the ones that are left natural. And it's just because at this point I decided that doubling up the wooden blocks actually gave it more strength or a little bit more durability um, to the bottom of the plate or the plate stand of the tiered tray. So here I'm just gluing on the blocks, making sure everything is perfectly centered so that it gives it the most strength and durability as possible. And then I also glued the white ones on top so that the natural wood pieces would not be as noticeable. If I did this again, like I said, I would spray paint all of the pieces. After I got done gluing this down, I took those jot ring um, clips and decided to get two of them out and you can see here I am going to glue or start tying on some jute twine to the hinges of the uh, rings there. At this point here, once you've started the twine, just wrap it around and for a good amount until you've kind of covered the hinge of the 
notebook ring and I did this to two notebook rings cutting off any pieces that stick up and just wrapped a really good amount of it and you'll see why in the finished piece why we do that and then I just secured it with a little bit of hot glue to kind of keep it all in place and then snipped off the excess piece. Okay, so once you have your two rings complete, you kind of want to just leave them open. And then in that top piece of the toy, you're going to want to kind of pinch them into the hole you made with your scissors. And there's already a hole right there, but this kind of like helps you get it in there a little bit better if you kind of make a, the hole big enough to get two in. I also um, got the idea that you could squirt some glue down in there to kind of sec secure it into place. Then I took some more twine, tied a knot around the base of that section there. There's actually a little grooved from where the plastic toy is. And I took a little hot glue to secure it and then started wrapping the twine all the way around the top of this piece. I kind of like this idea because it kind of conceals the fact that this little plastic thing was previously a toy and it kind of also gives it that rustic farmhouse look. Now when you get to the top of the section here, in order to cover the white of that plastic piece, I kind of just wrapped and crisscrossed and wrapped and crisscrossed, gluing ever so often just to kind of secure the twine into place so that the entire top of this piece is the burlap jute twine. And then once you get to the very end, you can kind of just snip off any excess that you have. And I like the two rings together because it, makes a little piece where you can slip in a note card or like even a cardstock sign on your tiered tray when you're decorating. So that's why I put the two rings there and it also gives the look of two handles on the top of your tray. Very similar to an expensive version that I own um, in my home. So I secured that with a little bit of hot glue on the center of the top tray and then ran a bead of glue at the very bottom just to kind of give it a little bit more strength and durability there. You can see this glue but the glue does dry clear. Um, I'm sure you could use another glue that might be better but I just used hot glue because it was fast and easy and I didn't mind uh, seeing the little bit of it there. Once you decorate it you won't see it anyway. Then for the bottom section, I used the other end of that plastic toy, which um, was the two thirds section that we had cut off. Just trimmed it up and gl glued it into place. When I was editing this video, I realized that you could probably put some kind of crunched up paper or something inside the tube just to kind of give it even a little bit more support. It's fine the way it is, but I got that idea after the fact, so I thought I'd just share that with you. Once you are done with that, just glue the two pieces together and you are pretty much done with your tear tray that you can decorate in your home. And I'll show you one other tip that you can do next. Okay, to finish off this tray, I did Melanie's suggestion as well and decided to take a black sharpie or a paint pen and just kind of paint the edges. I wasn't too careful about like if the paint marked off the edge a little bit. I find I kind of think that that gives it that rustic farmhouse look and so I just quickly took the sharpie pen around the edges and colored it. Hey guys, so what did you think about this DIY? I just wanted to come back on camera really quick and give a close up of this DIY finished. Um, you can see that I continued painting the black all the way around and it's not perfect and that's fine. I kind of like it not perfect because it does give that farmhouse rustic charm that I love. I love that I added the twine here and a little note that I want to mention. The reason we do two rings here is because you can put in a like um, a card here or some kind of like decorative um, note card or something that's super cute that's seasonal. You can kind of put it there and it's not a lot of weight. A piece of cardstock or paper is not a lot of weight and it kind of gives like the tree topper, if you will, effect to your tier two tray. And obviously you want to keep your heavier items on the bottom. Um, I did double up this, uh, the 
the box here on the bottom just to build an extra support and kind of raising it off the ground there or off the the tabletop where you're going to display it and then remember I used just one piece of that toy so this is a great DIY that you can actually make with a friend because it's only a few dollars to make and some of the items um, have two in a pack that you only need one of and you can actually give the other one to a friend so I just uh, think this is the most super cute thing that you can have in your home to decorating and living seasonally it doesn't cost a lot and to fill the two tier tray you don't need a lot just a few items and you can change it up with the seasons or the holidays. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!